So this problem asks us to convert 15 ounces to how many pounds? The number of pounds. And one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So if you know what operation you should do, whether it should, it should be 50 divided by 16 or 16 divided by 50, or maybe it's 50 times 16. But if you know which operation it is, what you're supposed to do, and you can go ahead and do it. But if you don't know whether it's div division one multiplication, or if it's div which one divided by which one, you can use and one of these two methods. So the first method is called using fractions or using ratios. I'm just going to call it fractions or you can call it ratios. Now, um, you will start with whatever it's given. So we're given 50 ounces. And you're going to turn this into a fraction by putting one underneath. And then you're going to multiply. So this is multiplying fractions. Multiplying fractions. And we multiply another fraction. And the second fraction comes from the, this relationship between the pound and ounces. So in, first we determine the bottom because we want to turn ounces to pounds, which means we have to get rid of ounces. So if I put the right hand side of that relationship 16 ounces in the bottom and then put the left hand side of one pound in the top, when we multiply fractions by multiplying straight across and reduce, we'll reduce multiply straight across so I can see Ounces can reduce re, reduce ounces from one from the top, one from the bottom. So that way, uh, so that's why I put 16 ounces in the bottom because that the bottom ounces can cancel the top ounces. That way, will leave us the pound we need. So now we can multiply straight across, which is 50 times one. That's 50 pounds, and the bottom one times 16. That's 16, and the ounces the bottom ounces are canceled, and the top ounces are also canceled. As you can see, we, we know the end, uh, we turned ounces to pounds. And 50 divided by 16, you can do long division, or you can just reduce it and by 2. So you have 25 over 8 pounds. Uh, if you don't like um, fractions, you can turn this um, into either mixed number. This is an improper fraction. So you can turn that into 3 and 1 8 pounds. Or you can um, use the decimal equals um, 3.125 pounds. So either way. So this is the first method, which is uh, solution one that's applying um, the multiplication of fractions. Now solution two, we if you are familiar with a proportion relationship, Notice pounds and ounces, they are in a proportional relationship. So one pound is 16. Two pounds you would multiply by two, which gives you 32, and three pounds times three, and so on. So solution two, we can apply this proportional relationship. So this proportion, but proportion is set up the, like equal, using an equal sign, not a multiplication. So here we're doing multiplication at times, but proportion is an equal sign. And also, when we set up a proportion and the top and if we let's say I'm going to use the relationship conversion relationship first. So let if I put a one pound um, over 16 ounces and on the left hand side and the right hand side, I'm going to have to put a, also put another uh, pair with the pound on the top and the ounces on the bottom. So uh, notice we're given 50 ounces, and we're trying to figure out how many pounds that is. So when we set up a pro proportion, notice that uh, you're going to have to line up ounces and ounces and line up the pounds and the pounds, which is totally different from the first solution. You don't line them up. Actually, one, if it ounces on the top, you have to put your ounces on the bottom so they can cancel out because we're doing multiplication. But here, we're not doing multiplication. It's an equal sign. So once you set this up, uh, again, you can use X for the question mark. So you have a, let me go ahead, I can, I can go ahead and get rid of all the units. Just take the numbers, 1 over 16 and X over 50. And now we can use cross products 
are equal and uh, using using this fact and we have 1 times 50 which is 50 and 16 times x so now we can see if we want to get x by itself we divide both sides by 16. so now we have 50 divided by 16 again you will get the same answer which is 3 and 1 8. so both methods work if you understand the relationship well uh, you, un, you you can see without doing these two methods you can see 50 divided by 16 and then you don't have to use any of these methods